I think that Calvin's Two Kingdoms theology and his model of the church made it possible for uh, for the, the Reformed tradition to have a social witness through the church itself in a way that wasn't possible for other branches of Protestantism. And the historian Philip Benedict, in his excellent recent history of, of the Reformed, early Reformed tradition, has, has in fact said that Calvin's greatest social legacy is not, uh, as some have claimed, capitalism or democracy or something like that, but it's actually Calvin's uh, understanding of the church. And it is that that enabled Calvinism to thrive in all kinds of contexts uh, around the world.